Whether on her own or with her family, this lady has a voice that you never forget once you hear it. This is a 12-inch of uh, Melody Cool, but uh, you can find it all in the Graffiti Bridge soundtrack from Prince. This is Mavis Staples. I've seen a many bridges in my time and crossed every one of them with no trouble at all. I've had trials and tribulations, heartaches, and pain. Survived them all, baby. I'm still Melody. And I'm still cool. They call me Melody Cool. I was here long before you. If you could, I would love you, but I'm nobody's fool. I'm Melody Cool. When I was born, there was tidal waves. For a time when I'm under nobody's sage. At every funeral, a little range. Every time I sang, Melody This is 20 years later? 20 years later. Okay, a little more back. than 20 years. Go back even further than that now. Mm -hmm. Like back in 57 when people first started hearing that voice. You're this young girl. Yeah. Did they expect Skinny, that? not knee, little, little bitty girl. Uh -huh. um, and this voice 14, came out. This voice came out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Mom and, and Pop used to tell us how they would laugh at us because my brother Purvis, mm -hmm. he would cry in a Michael Jackson voice. <laughs> <laughs> and may I would cry, you know. Yeah. So uh, 
uh, actually on my mother's side of the family. We have these coarse voices, my mother, Mary Lee Ware, my grandmother. And um, back in 57, I think that was 57, we had a song called Uncloudy Day. Mm -hmm. And actually, at that time, being a lady, it's really an alto, but they were calling it bass then because my voice was, was you know, we, we, uh, we, after we sang this song down, then I would come out with, well, 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 oh, Lord, they tell me now, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, people used to bet then, they would say, when, when we were going to these places in Augusta, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, South Carolina, they would, before we get to town, they would have bet that I was not a little girl. I was either a big, fat lady mm -hmm. or a man. And uh, so uh, when we got ready to sing this song, we would fool them. Mm -hmm. My brother would step up just as that part came. Well, well, he'd step up, and then I and people would say, I knew that wasn't a girl. And I'd ease out behind him, yeah. you know, and hit it. And, and it part. was just, yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, when, when, when Prince called you up, mm -hmm. was it your voice that has always intrigued him? Uh, are you... you know, yes, Prince, Prince, he grew up on us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like these children. Um, <laughs> Prince, uh, but he's always told me he, he just he loved um, what was it that Soul to Soul movie he did. Oh yeah, absolutely. we went to Africa, mm -hmm. and there was a song on there that we were singing called "Are You Sure Your Prayers Haven't Been Answered?" And uh, he said, "Mavis, I watched that tape uh, so many times I had to get another tape." And uh, but he uh, he liked the staple singers. If you notice, you would hear some of the staple singers in Purple Rain. Purple rain. Yeah, you see? Yeah, and uh, feel. yeah. Mm. So um, Prince called and, and uh, his manager got Pop. Pop found me and told me, Mavis, Prince is looking for you. I said, Pop, what Prince? You know. <laughs> 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 what Prince? And uh, that is it, Mavis, girl, Prince, Prince. I said, Prince is looking for me. You know, I said, Daddy, stop. You know. And he said, Look, girl, you take this number, Mavis. And, well, when he gave me the 213 area code, I believed it. And, and so I took all the numbers down and stood up and cut me a jig. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so uh, from that, Prince and I, I think maybe about six months later, we, we, I talked to the manager and we signed, got the contract going. And about six months later, right here in L.A. at the L.A. Forum, mm -hmm. the family was doing a Dusty show yeah. with uh, Booker T and the MGs, Wilson Pickett. Sam Moore, you know, yeah, yeah. and Prince came out to meet me. But now Prince came in that dressing room. He stayed there about 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. He smiled and blushed, and he wouldn't talk to me. And I said, Prince, I would say, Prince, when are we going in the studio? No, how's the new studio in, in Minnesota? You'll see. You know, he just gave me two word answers, or one word. Quiet guy. Yeah. Prince Funny guy? Time. Comical. Oh, he's real comical. Yes. A lot of, lot of two-word jokes. On. A lot of two-word jokes. <laughs> no, but see, that was that first night. Yeah. And, uh, as, as time went on, as we hung together, he, just like a little kid, you know, they, mm -hmm. after they get, stay around you for a while, they start talking more and more and more. Yeah. He got talking, got started talking one night in London. That I couldn't stop the child. <laughs> I, said, <laughs> I said, well, now, wait a minute, okay. And then he gets on my case, Arsenio, because I call him, hey, Prince. I said, Mavis, what happened to the CE? I said, you, you make fun of me? Yeah, <laughs> hey, Prince. Hey, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> you and all them chillers come on and start with. <laughs> you young ones. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming back. Oh, it's been my pleasure. And anytime you've got something, i always here. have fun here. Thanks so much, Mavis. Okay, and tell we Pop. love you. I'll see him when we get there. Oh, yeah, right on. They still upstairs? Because Pop, let me tell you what Pop did. Okay. <laughs> producer going crazy. Oh, oh okay. Producer going nuts. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Commercial. Should I tell it? Wait, Don't tell uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking about that pause for the call. I know so that's right. We got to make play that move. It, okay. But save it. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, you're right. Julian Louis Dreyfus <laughs> <is> next. <laughs>